Hey everyone, it's me, Courtney Crosby, and today I want to show you how I did these Valentine-inspired nails. Let's check it out. Okay, so the first nail that I'm going to show you how I did is this one with the hearts down the middle because I thought you might not know how to make hearts and this would be a very good place to start. So I've painted all of these nails with the base color and I used Soft Pink by Blue Sky. The code is A055. And for the red, I used A0521 and that's also from Blue Sky. So when I'm making the hearts, I'm going to be using a dotting tool. I chose this dotting tool because the end isn't super big like this one. That's quite big, so you can see the difference. I don't know what size it is, but it's not the smallest. That's the smallest, and this one is the one on the other end. So I'm going to be using that to create these two um, bumpy bits at the top of the heart. So I like to start at the bottom because this point here will give me a good reference to where the middle of the nail is. And I'm just going to put my dots on either side of the middle. Now, once you've done that, you can either use your really fine end of your dotting tool or you can use a fine detailing brush to make the shape of the heart. So the first part of the shaping that you need to do is up here. You just need to join these two bits just there and you can see now that the heart is starting to take shape. I want it to be about that big. So I'll just drag the polish down like that. And you can make it a little bit bigger if you wanted to. The good part about making them small in the beginning is that you can make them bigger but it's difficult to make them smaller. So always err on the smaller side and then you'll be grand. So I'm just going to work my way up. Now because I'm going the whole way up the nail and I want them all to be even, I'm going to do the, the dots the whole way up and then just fill them all in as I go and then I'll know that they're in a straight line. How many have I got? One, two, three, four, five. So let's do the one at the top. And then that will come down to about there. So I'll make those dots. Just try and keep them evenly spaced. Room for one more, maybe. Okay. So then I'll just fill in So I used the dotting tool for the bulk of the work and now I'm going to use my fine detailing brush just to crisp up the edges. And there we go. That is ready to be cured. So the next one I'm going to show you is this negative space heart. You can do this with just drawing the heart with nude over top of the red but the nude would turn out to be a different color with red underneath so I like to do the nude base and then the red outline. <clears throat> so for the outline I'm going to use my dotting tool. You can draw it on with a detail brush as well if that's what you're comfortable with. But I find it easier to get the basic shape just with my dotting tool. So I'm going to start in the middle of the heart where they come down like that and just put a dot so that I know that's where the middle is. And then I want the bottom of the heart to be about there. Now I'll just come up and draw the heart in the air, but I'm gonna stop down with my dotting tool and make little dots so that then I can play connect the dots after. Like that. Now I'll just roughly connect these. Oh. And that looks 
pretty good to me. Now I'm going to get my polish bottle. You can use a fine liner or like a detail brush to do this if you're not comfortable using the polish brushes getting up to lines like this then you can use a smaller brush but I'm quite comfortable doing it this way so I'll do it this way to show you that you can and I like to imagine that I am working on a human and I can't turn their finger backwards and that there is going to be a cuticle there just keeps good habits you can see I'm not going the whole way to the heart there because that makes me a little bit nervous. So I'll use my detailer brush just to clean up the edges here. Now I can go in with this and make some sharp lines like this and really spend some time perfecting my heart. Hearts are not my strong point for sure. I do find them a little bit tricky. So if I can do it, I'm pretty sure most people would be able to as well. That looks a bit wonky. There, that's getting a little bit better. Now there was a technique that I was going to show you on another nail, but this is actually a good opportunity because on this side here, I don't really like the way that that part looks. So I'm going to take this brush. It's like a baby acrylic brush and put it in some alcohol, some isopropyl alcohol and just wipe the most of it off. Then I'm going to come in and remove some of this red and just open that up a bit so that it doesn't look so drunk. And if I remove too much, that's okay because I can come back in with my red. I just want to get that. God, it's bleeding. Red is such a nightmare to work with. Okay, now I'll come back and try and make that a little bit better. And I think I've just done the exact same thing that I did before. Mm -hmm. Okay, that looks okay actually. Okay, when you're happy with that, you can put that into cure and then you'll need to do a second coat as well. But the second coat is significantly easier than the first because you've already got your design. Okay, let's do a second layer on this. So again, I'm going to take my polish and just go around the heart. Cool. So that's the second layer of that done. That will go in the light to cure and then it will also need a layer of top coat. Got some polish on my hand. So the next design is this one here. This is such a popular design. I had it requested by many, many clients when I was working in the salon and it's not that easy for me to do. So you have some options here. You could use a dotting tool, but you don't really get the crisp lines with a dotting tool. You can use a long detail brush if you're comfortable with that or a fine detail brush. I forget what I used when I did that yesterday. But I'm going to try it with the fine detail brush. So I'll start in the middle of the heart. Start in the middle of the heart and sometimes you see these on nails and they're lopsided, they're crooked, so it doesn't really, it kind of makes me feel like it doesn't matter if it's perfect because it's 
kind of swooping across the nail, right? So here we go. This is always going to be more difficult on an actual person as well. So if you practice it quite a lot in on the press-on tips, then when you go to do it on a human, it won't be so bad. Ta-da! So now you've got the basic shape. You can be really fussy now and go back and just make it exactly how you want it. I'm gonna, that's the first time it's ever worked so perfectly on the first try. So I'm gonna call that a win and I'm gonna stick it in the light. The other two nails, I've kind of used a combination of the brush and the dotting tool for these and some foil as well. But if you don't have foil, it will look nice with um, just the black lines as well. So first I'm gonna do the red hearts. That's what I did when I did that design the other day originally. I'll try and replicate it exactly, but you don't have to. You can do it in any kind of pattern that you want. So just like before, I'm going to join them together in the middle. I'm going to find the spot where I want it to end and then just fill it in. like that and then we've got a little heart down here and I'll just use my brush to really sharpen up the edges and then do the black bits after. The black that I'm using is not a blue sky black. This is by Anna Gibbons, maybe? I'm not sure, I forget. But it's a black gel paint. It's not great either. I really would like a black gel paint that's super opaque and super thick like my white one. But alas, I don't have one. So we're going to be using the one here by Anna. So there's, that one is done. Put that on there. That one is done. Now the black bits I did. I'm trying to make the shape of a heart here in lines. That was quite tricky, but I got there in the end. For that, I used my longer detail brush. It might be a striping brush, but it's a little bit short for me to be able to call it a striping brush. So I'm going to put a little bit of polish on my finger now because I need to top up quite a lot while I'm doing the lights. And that's just handy to have it there. Okay, so because on this nail I'm going to be applying, applying some foil and I only want it to stick to the black bits. So I'm going to wipe the nail with some alcohol and just get rid of all the tacky layers that are on there. And then I'll go on with my black polish and do the lines of the heart. So when you start, I'm going to start with this section of the heart on the left side and put that about here. You don't want to make your top line too small, like you don't want it to come up into nothing because then the top of the heart would look really pointy. And I made that mistake yesterday. So I'm going to start making the lines a little bit bigger just so that it looks like it starts to take its heart form. And when I come up to this red heart here, I'm going to stop and then come right across and that line. So on this side of the heart, you can't actually see some of it. So we'll just pretend that it's there. And then we'll do one more, getting a little bit bigger. 
And now I'm going to start making them a little bit smaller on the outside so that, oops, so that it's coming down. Like that. That doesn't really look like a heart. That one looks better. I found this really tricky, but either way, it's still going to look cool when I put on the foil. So I'll do the same thing over here. On this side, I'm just going to do the bottom of the heart, and that does come into a little point. So my very first line is just going to be wee. And then I'll make them a little bit bigger each time. Cool. Now I'll put that in the light to cure before I put on the foil. You could use any foil you want. I had this foil. It's like a gold dotty. Look, I really wanted like a soft gold, but that's the only one I had, so that's the one I used. So that's going to cure for a full two minutes because the black needs to cure for quite long. And then I'll come back and stick on the foil. Okay, so that's just come out of the light. Now, because we wiped the hole now with alcohol, the red parts and the nude part aren't tacky. So when I stick this foil on, it's only going to stick to the black parts of the design. You can put as much or as little as you want on. That looks about good to me. And the only thing left to do is the white star detail. So for the white, I'm gonna be using my favorite painting gel by Lisa Kahn. This stuff is so thick. I've been desperate to get the black one, but it, oh God, it's not been in stock. Every time I look, it's not there. So I will use a really tiny dotting tool just to make a dot for the center of the star there and this one here. And then my fine detail brush to drag it. Now I'm gonna prime this brush with a little bit of polish just so that it's all stuck together and it's really, really pointy because I want to drag this down nice and fine. Same on that side. Coming from the middle out, middle out. You really need a steady hand for this and your hand-eye coordination needs to be quite good. Sometimes my hand-eye coordination doesn't cooperate. But that worked really well, I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna put that back in the light to cure. And we only have one nail left and it is, oh gosh, actually this one. So for this nail, I'll have to cure it in a couple different sections because the white is behind the red. I didn't go around it with white. That would be very difficult. So I didn't do that. I'll show you exactly what I did. For the white parts of the X and the heart, I used this brush. It's a little bit bigger than this brush. So I used the bigger part for the white and then for the black I used that brush there. And that was able, I was able to get the black line to be smaller like that. I have to turn that off. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this polish that I have. You can use just a regular white gel polish for this, but your layer will be thicker and you might find that your X and your O are a bit raised up, but that's okay as well. So I'm going to do this nice and thin like that and try and make it have enough body to it that I can come over top with the black and still see some of the white underneath or around the edges even. 
That looks pretty good. Just tidy up my edges. And then for the heart, I am going to do the entire heart, not just the outline, because I want the red to be consistent. If I just did the outline and then colored in the middle, it might look a different shade of red because of the undertones. So I'm going to color in the whole heart. There, I'm happy with that. So that's gonna go in the light to cure. And then I'll come in with the black and the red to finish off the design. Okay, so that's cured. Again, for the black, I'm gonna be using this um, black gel paint here and I'm using a smaller brush than I did for the white so that I don't have to work too hard at getting the outline to stay. Whenever I'm painting anything with gel paints I like to use my thumbnail or a palette just to prime the brush so that I can make sure I don't have any like bulbous bits on the end. So I'm just going to go in and try really hard to put a line down the middle and not completely cover up the white. Cool, so I will need to do two coats of the black, but first I'll go in with the red and I'll be using my dotting tool. I'm going to use this one because it's a bit bigger and this heart is quite a lot bigger than any of the other ones we did. So I'll just do the exact same technique that I use for the other hearts, but I'm leaving a little gap of the white. Cool, so I'll put that into cure and then I'll come back and do a second layer on those. And also, I think I want to do a second layer on this heart as well. I was just looking at it and thought it looked a little bit like it was missing something. So I'm going to use my fine detail brush again and I'll just go over the heart. Now you can see here I've got a ball of polish on the end of my brush, which is what I was talking about before. So I'm just going to work that into the brush a bit more so that when I put down my brush initially, it doesn't leave such a big um, mark, a big blob. Okay, so that is all of our nails done. There is one thing that I wanted to show you with this nail here. I'm just going to decant a little bit of the nude that I used for the base coat of that nail and all the nails. Now, if you have um, a design like this, or even this nail here, you can do the same thing, or any of them actually, but mostly for um, negative space designs like this with a color in the middle. If you find that your edges just weren't quite crisp enough and you wanted to neaten it up a little bit, you can use some of the same color that you did and just push it up against the edge there. The only thing is when you do this, you do have to cover the entire section that you're coloring in. You wouldn't just be able to go around the edges and you can't go too far or else there'll be um, a noticeable difference in color when it's laying over top of the red. But this does help to give you a really crisp edge if you couldn't achieve that with your red. edge so I'm gonna put that like like I'm gonna put that back in the light to cure and then I'm gonna come back and top coat all of the nails 
So here we go, everything is done. I think I've done a pretty good job at replicating these nails. Of course, it's never gonna be exactly the same because it's art. But now they are ready for top coat. I'm just using a no wipe top coat from Blue Sky. And I'll just do one layer across all the nails and that will be them done. So I hope you found this helpful. I would really love to see if you recreate any of these designs. You can tag me on Instagram at Big C Little C or you can tag me on Facebook, Courtney Crosby. I love looking at your designs and I love reading your comments too. So if you want to leave me a comment and let me know which design was your favorite, that would be cool. If I had to pick a favorite, I think it would be this one because it has, I'm into the abstract look lately. And I read an article the other day, I think it was in the Scratch magazine that said abstract was the in thing. Now I had my nails done in September by another nail tech here in Maidstone. And she did an abstract design on me and I really, really loved it. So obviously I'm ahead of the trend. But that's it. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.